Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play MMORPG Tycoon 2. So this is a pretty cool uh, little game here. And uh, I love this, it's like an operating system. You can have like multiple windows open and drag them around and close them and things like that. You can even move the icons around, it's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, it's like just an operating system. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game here. So we're going to call it, let's call it Stone Legion. I mean, we're Stone Legion after all. And uh, let's see, there's a symbol that seems appropriate here. This looks kind of cool, let's pick that one here. And so we're going to go next here. So you can choose the MMORPG type for your game. Now, keep in mind, this game is in early access. So I don't want you guys uh, to see a bug or an issue or maybe even a little lack of content, things like that. Don't be worried. And you, know, you might see a lack of content at first because the idea is you got to progress by expanding your world more and more, get more players, things like that. And then you will actually unlock a lot more content. And you'll see it when we first launch. There'll be some icons I'll show you, which I don't think you get to see them after until you get the upgrade again. But anyways, we'll get into that so you got combat story role playing player versus player casual social free to play basically all these just affect some basic attribute starting attributes uh, you might have something locked or unlocked a bit more with this uh, nothing too crazy um, so I think I might uh, ca casual combat you know what let's do combat I think combat is probably a fun one to do uh, free to play is a bit more challenging but you can literally just go in the game and change the price to 40 and 10 like everything else anyways like you see here so you don't actually have to uh, click that it's just really it changes the starting attribute so if you look here you can see that you know we have 10 percent combat uh 20 percent to achievement loot things like that so it already has kind of gone up like that so we'll put that into advertising and uh, let's do you know what? let's put one less there and let's get uh theme exploration and socializing up just a wee bit more so not everyone is a total loner. And there you go. We can grade our game. And then it has this little cool intro. I've only played like a little bit just to get my uh, the basics understand. And there you go. There's our world. So ooh, look at all the different islands here. Awesome. Okay, so I probably don't want to be on a, a little island. I'll, I'll go on the pier maybe. That might be fun, something to do. Um, I don't think it's a big deal if you were to start on a small island. I think it's more for the fact that uh, um, I don't know what kind of transportation options there are yet, if there is any. Um, I know there is a big transportation update being in the works. It's like any day now basically coming out. Heck, by the time you see this video, it probably is out just to give you an idea. So um, there's always new content being added. After that, the next big one is going to be dungeons. Now there might be some stuff in between, obviously, but, uh, but anyways, yeah, let's grab this. So um, you can actually customize everything. So if you click this, you can actually uh, look at this. You can turn, you can change the train and turn it into a force, for example, and apply. And this will actually turn it into a very, very amazing dense forest, which is really cool. Uh, you could do field. I, I, I've played around. Like, I don't know where you'd have to put the forest. I don't know if that would change it at all. I don't know, like, all the, you know, the type. Oh, there might be basic stuff here. Oh, there's desert. I think that's what that one is. I guess it's different layers. I don't know which one would be the correct layering, but... Uh... Oh, here you go. Yeah, so it's just it has an effect somewhere in there. Um, but let's, you know what? I like to just set it all to field here for this one anyways. Just make it nice and plain, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, but you can also change colors of it, things like that. It's uh, really cool, the sky colors, things like that. So let's go ahead. We're going to go to grid here. And so you could actually sync the land. You can, uh, you know, increase this. So you hover this. You can see the land size goes out to here. You can actually sync land. I believe this can be only done if you don't own it yet. So we can literally sync it. Now, that land doesn't exist now, basically. Uh, and then you can actually raise some new land. And I think it's like a... You, yeah, can you raise all the land here, or is it just some of it? No, yeah, I guess you can raise whatever you like, actually. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that. I thought there was maybe certain limits, but I guess it is depending where you are. So I could actually raise this one here. Wow, that's very mountainous. And then I could lower this. I'm actually tempted to do this. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm actually wondering how big this one could be. Uh, let's see here. So let's play around with this. So let's go to interaction here for a second. And let's go to terrain and let's do field, oops, field and field. And I guess it doesn't really matter there. Probably apply. There you go. Yeah, I actually, I'm going to start on that one. I didn't even really play with those tools. I just, I, I knew they existed. So yeah, I like that one. Okay, so we're going to get that one. That one to me is a bit better for us. That way we can have a bit more forking and stuff like that over time. And we can bring that other land up over time. So uh, let's go ahead and purchase this. So you just hover over it 
Each plot seems to be about 5k. I don't know if they'll ever expand because the second one's also 5k. And this is your level range, 1. So you can actually change this 1 to 2. You can drag this and do, say, 1 to 3, for example. I think probably 1 is good enough for us. Um, I can't see it uh, needing that. And, you, and then you can deactivate a region, which you probably don't get your money back. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and do some pathing. So we're going to start out. Let's just say you start off, you know, somewhere over here. And then you're just going to have your, you know, your your path going around and you can do however you want. I'm just going to be a do a big circle path here kind of just around here, so putting it in there. There you go. I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't like to maybe it's getting too long and then it wants you to click down and kind of settle on that. Uh, something simple like that and then maybe something right down the middle. You know, it's just uh, an area for people to kind of walk around and do their thing. So we're going to start doing some buildings here. So we're going to put an inn here. Now, an inn keeps uh, a 1,000 people, I think, or I guess it depends. There's a couple of inns in here, and there's different sizes. But uh, if we hold down the Z key, so if you hit just tap it, it basically moves it to uh, 45. Is it 45, or am I thinking wrong? There's how many? 360? So 90, right? 90 degrees each time. Uh, but uh, if you hold it down, you can do a bit more precise precision here. So we can bring it down to the pathway. Yeah, things don't like to be on the pathway or close to the pathway too much, so you kind of have to work with that. But there we go. We'll have an in there. And you know what? I'm going to have a second in, actually. So it's just there and kind of fun, right? And then uh, let's go ahead and build ourselves a tavern. Now, a tavern is useful for social hubs. Um, if there's one nearby, players will tend to go there when they want to socialize, which makes it like, okay, yeah. I... I don't know how socialized this is because I don't think I've seen them use it before. But then again, I've only played it a wee bit. Now, this one doesn't have as close as a snap because it's it's based on, they think, the hitbox of it. So you see the sign on there. Basically, when the sign goes over, yeah. If it had maybe a little deck on it or something, maybe that wouldn't be so bad. Or maybe they can just make it so it can overhang someday. But it's not a big deal anyways. And then you got your different... Um, your different uh, stuff here. So you got blacksmith, you got potion shops, and then you got civilized shops. And I think that's it. Yeah, there's uh, the three for right now. So the blacksmith is used to like upgrade your gear, I believe, or maybe just weapon. Yeah, good weapon. Yeah, there you go. And so how do we want to do that? Let's put this one over here. I want to spread this around a bit. So that way it's just a little bit more fun. I like this one. Look how close that one gets. I like that. And then let's go ahead and put the potion shop uh, somewhere over here, maybe like over here. Oh, sorry. I want to keep the theme to the same one right now. So yeah, civilized potion shop. We're using civilized set. There we go. And then let's go ahead and put the market over here as well. That way, maybe we can encourage people over here a bit more. There you go. More likely, this will be a busy place anyways, depending how we set things up. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Okay. There we have it. So uh, we have probably the basics there. Now, when I say basics, uh, there's a lot more to this uh, over time. Just keep that in mind. Uh, this is more like uh, the early stages, right? We'll unlock more content and features, like I said before. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, we have a graveyard now graveyard is kind of useful because if you die, obviously, you know, it can help you. I'm going to put one over here. You're probably going to want one near where people die too, but maybe, maybe I want to do something different for that too. You never know. Right. So here's the intersection of the building. So sometimes it's just better to place it after and then not before. So let's go ahead and move this around. There's a precision mode. I've never tried this. Maybe this one. Oh, Oh, okay. That's cool. I didn't know it had, uh, like, it's just more advanced like that. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like the old, like, uh, if you ever played uh, Second Life, and I'm, this is like 20 years ago. It's probably much different now. Uh, that was something like we had before where it was those kind of tools for the, uh, I think we call them, what, transformation tools or whatever. Uh, okay, so we have the basics going here. Cool. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's do something kind of interesting over here. Um, let's put like one special NPC maybe. We can put a couple if we want, but uh, I don't want to build like the combat thing right here per se. But I'm just thinking maybe we can have a little fun, like a little spot here where maybe it's just like one single elite that somebody has to kill, right? And we can tell them that, you know, this guy lives over here. Yeah, let's do something like that for fun. Uh, building and 
Oh yeah, maybe we should put a landmark in. What kind of landmarks do we have? Oh, there's a lighthouse. Let's do that because we're at the coast, right? So let's put this guy over here somewhere. And let's do 90 degree because it is kind of... Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. You know what? We can do something like this over... We can do something like this. And then we can put a path over here. And then I can move that all over again. There you go. I think it said M. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, unfortunately, like I said, the hitbox and everything, so you could do that, but obviously they're going to walk out. In the... I think the pathing might be something more new. I'm not sure, to be honest. They do prefer paths from what I was reading, so um, if you have a path there, they do prefer to use the path system uh, versus not using it, basically. So uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and maybe fence this area in a bit. So we're just having fun. Basically, the first episode is us getting started and we'll get the park on here in a minute, but it's more just getting started here. So, um, wow, that's uh, a little over the top for us, I think. Yeah, those ones are over the top, I think. Oh, here we go. This this feels a bit more suitable for us. So we can go ahead and basically, you know, set up a, a nice. Uh, a nice wall and stuff over here i think that would be kind of cool and then we'll have to decide where we're going to come out of here later on um yeah do i come out of the top or do i go to another position i really don't know right now right so um let's say we'll come out of the top i guess i'll have to decide what i really want to do after <laughs> this is just more to keep them safe and just make it a little bit more towny like you know what i mean Now you can turn off snapping, here you go, or you can even adjust the snapping distance. So that's pretty cool too. So if you can, you wanna get a little closer without it snapping, you can do that, there you go. That's kinda of cute. And then we'll we'll figure out what I'm gonna do over here after. There you go. Okay, there you go. And then, uh, yeah, let's go buildings here. So you can set up cool buildings here, modular buildings. And uh, yeah, they're just different looking kind of buildings you can have around. And I think it's just more for landmark reasons, things like that, you know. So let's do, let's do something. This looks more appropriate, I think. Yeah, there you go. So what you can do here now is, ooh, that's like a creepy one. What is that called? It doesn't have a name, does it? I didn't realize it was going to be so dark and creepy looking. Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, add to it. So why not? This will be fun. And uh, yeah, you can do, you can add different levels. And I guess depending on what they've added to it, you can, you know, you can have fun with it. And then you can even do an entrance, I think. So building entrance, for example. Um, add an entrance. Oh, it's already. Oh, there is one right there already. It's just so dark looking. Okay, cool. And then, uh, yeah, let's just build a little path to it. Oh, the snapping. See, I don't know if there's a way to stop the snapping here. Like, I don't see snapping options here. And uh, that's the weird part is, like, I haven't looked. I don't know. Let's check the settings for a second. Let's see. There might be a button you hold down. I've tried, like, some of them, but uh, I don't know if I've seen uh, snapping on or off. No, I don't see that. I see rotation and stuff like that. But I don't see a snapping option, unfortunately. So maybe we're just kind of stuck with that. So, you know what? Maybe we'll just move it over here. We'll just move the whole building closer then. That doesn't matter too much. Um, Can we move you? Oh, yeah, there you go. That's kind of cool. There you go. So we're just adding a little bit more uh, life to the town and stuff like that. And then they even have a little prop. So you can go ahead and uh, buildings, was it? Or scenery. There you go. So you got little props you can add in your town here. So you can add some of these barrels around. Maybe these would be make sense, you know, outside the... There you go. It just makes it a little bit more lively, you know. You can have a, a town fireplace here or something. I don't know if it lights up or anything, but you know, a little log here and you can adjust these around depending how you want them. Um, some crates here too you can put around. This guy needs some crates for his selling here, you know. 
it's just all fun, right? And then you have your graveyard here. You can even add some more stones around here. You can add them in here, I guess. I don't know if that'll get in their way, though. I think that one's kind of has its own self-decoration. Don't really need to, to decorate it, to be fair. But, yeah, you can add more uh, wood pieces everywhere. You can even add trees in here, some shrubs, things like that, little, little things here. These are huge. Apparently, trees in this game are huge. Um, I think that's how they did them on purpose, because if you look at these trees, they're really big. Now, you can scale them. You can make them a lot smaller, but uh, this is one scale, which is like probably the right size for some of these. Um, two scale, there you go. A little bit bigger, but not crazy, but yeah, you can have fun, you know. Put them on like the back ends of these houses and buildings. Don't want them to get in the way where I'm looking, right? Because I kind of look at this view, so you want them in a way where you you can keep an eye on people a bit better. I think now you can the ca cameras are all 3D and stuff like that, so you can move it anywhere you like, and you can actually zoom in. I'll show you here in a second. Look at this. So, like I said, you can zoom in any way you want. So you know, all the way back, whatever. But this is the part I like. You can you can actually zoom in here. Oops and. Uh, Oh, I think it's left. No, right click. There you go. I was trying to figure it out. You can hold shift and it actually speeds you up. But yeah, you can view your town. Now, every building looks weird because everything's shut down right now. So uh, we got to get the bandwidth uh, enabled for that. Um, but yeah, really cool. So let's get out of there. Zoom, right? Yeah, there you go. So let's actually get some bandwidth in here. We got to put it in the network here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an uplink. You need one of these per... Well, you can actually bring fiber to another region so you don't need one every um honestly every uh region but i'm probably going to do it just because it seems to be a better thing overall but uh, yeah you only really need the one so we're going to bring this out it's like a utility in like a lot of other games so everything in that area is basically covered and you'll see soon that life will start to uh these buildings will start to look more natural and there you go there you go there you have it. Sweet. Okay, so let's add some NPCs to the town. Let's start with some guards here. So let's get a guard. You know, a guard is sort of, uh, they're used to defend the town, but they're also used to, um, they're used for like a help, basically. Like you're new to the game, blah, blah, blah. And that's what they're for. So that's that's pretty cool. So we have the two guards there and we'll get another guard up here maybe for the future. And then let's... Uh, you know what? Maybe we we'll want a guard, you know, outside of these two, just in case. I don't think they can go right on the pathway. If you put them, yeah, they don't. You can move them after though, so you can you can just drag them and put them there. I don't know if they'll. That's their. They they do wander around, obviously, but there you go. You can set them around anyways, like that. Cool. So you got the guys right here in front of each of the inns. And so, like I said, they're, they're there to protect the players. I don't think, you know, creatures are going to come and invade everything. And you're not you're not going to have that as an issue. Okay, so before we get going, you should get some mobs up and some quests. Let's get some basic quests going. So let's do uh, like a regular. Uh, let's see here. Let's do. I, I guess you can change your looks, too. But let's just do, I guess, a warrior. And we'll put him here. And basically, we'll start some quests here. So he'll have some quests already that he makes. So he'll he'll tell you to go here and there and blah, blah, blah. So you can click this. You can delete them if you want. So you can delete them all. You can create a new quest. Uh, the quests, the way they work, though, they... There you go. I don't know. That was... Oh, that's weird. Oh, because you probably have to have a quest there. And when we delete them all, it just resets it probably. So there's one here. So all you do is you, you target it to this. So you can tell it, okay, go here. That's great. And uh, you can tell it to do another quest here. So I'd like you to go and visit, say, this here. And so you can have a bunch of quests here where these are just like all the visit quests in a sense. Uh, i like you to go ahead and uh, let's have you visit this one here, uh, the blacksmith or the potion shop. Well, we have the inn, the thing, and yeah. You know what? Let's do the tavern here, for example. And there you go. And they'll, they, they, there's your quest, basically. You can set... You know, I set three of them there and you can even edit them, modify them, how much EXP rewards, things like that. So you can you can put a lot of uh, uh, different stuff in there. And then let's put another quest in here, something similar. And uh, let's do a warrior here. Oh, double click. There you go. And so we can click this guy. We're going to do pretty much the same thing again here. So let's go ahead. 
So we're going to set you to, you know what? It's going to the other end. So, I mean, that's not a big deal, I guess. Um, and then let's have this guy. Actually, you know what? We're going to have these guys to go all the different shops. So we're going to have this one go to the blacksmith. And then we're going to have you go to the shop, which actually that's great. And then we're going to have you go to the potion shop. There you go. There you go. Perfect. And uh, they don't tell information. I guess it has to be active or maybe it's when people start using it, then it updates. I wasn't sure on that one. Uh, looks like this is actually not connected to our network. So we should probably do that now. I didn't realize that. So we're going to go for the cable. We'll just bring it down here. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and add uh, some NPCs. Like our first, you know, come and kill some mobs. So let's do... What do we want to do? Let's do skeletons. And we're going to do them up maybe over here somewhere. Let's do them up here. And so basically we're just going to go ahead and we're going to paint these like a paintbrush. We're going to go around and uh, yeah, I think this will be a good little area here. Now, I don't know if you can paint the terrain itself. Oh, these are the paint. Oh, I didn't realize those are the paintbrushes you can change. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's how it works. Okay, so we could do. A swamp, maybe I don't I hope that doesn't screw everything up, but we can readjust it after. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay, so there you go. We got a swampy area, right? And you can just go ahead and just kind of customize this. That's cool. I don't know if it's changing the looks or if it's just more adding the trees in there. The only downside is I don't I didn't actually want to have all those trees in there, to be fair. I wanted to have it without the trees. <laughs> I can always customize it myself. I don't know if the swamps and stuff like that actually have a real effect. So maybe I'll just do it by hand instead. That's cool though. Now we kind of figure out how that works. I wasn't sure if there was a way to customize it yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna put a building in here for fun. Um, spooky, so there's a spooky landmark here. Let's do that for fun. And let's go ahead and add a path up here as well. So we're gonna have our pathway and it's gonna come out and then it's gonna go over here. There you go. And then we'll have this actually going right into here. That way they have a, like a pathway to kind of follow in there for the first time. And uh, let's go ahead. We'll, we'll add a guard or two over here for fun. So the guards, you know, the guards will just keep people protected in this area a bit. So we'll just put one over here, for example, and then maybe one over here. And then uh, let's go ahead and add a quest person here that we'll do. We'll just put them a little lower down here. There you go. It's like you weren't working okay and then let's do buildings here so we did that now you can do a respawn point up here as well if you like um you can also and i was thinking of trying this i don't know if this would be dirty oh there's two guys there so we'll have to clean that up i think it would be considered dirty so i'm gonna definitely do it now but uh i was thinking of charging for this so you can click this and you can do a service so don't sync price so it doesn't sync to the rest of them and then do real money and say, basically, if you want to spawn at this one, you have to pay like five bucks, basically. So if a lot of them die here, they will have to pay me five real dollars. So they're paying $40 for the game. They're paying $10 a month for the game. And then if they want to respawn at this graveyard, rather than walk their ass all the way back from here, they have to pay five real life dollars for this. <laughs> Uh, I love it. It's evil. Okay, so let's go ahead and power this first before we keep going here. So we can go ahead and uh, I guess you could tie it off of here. It probably doesn't matter if you take it directly from here. And it looks like you might have, I don't know. I'm just going to go like this, I guess, just in case, and then bring it up here. There you go. Ah, there you go. Okay, so we got our creatures in there. We were going to put a building in here too, like some creepy building, uh, modular building. So um, I don't know which one of these might even be creepy, to be honest. Let's just put the castle here, I guess. That'd be kind of cool. So we'll put a castle in there. We'll do the same idea again. We'll just, you know, expand it around and have fun. Um, it's a pretty cool system they have here. 
So we got a oops, wrong way. There you go. They probably will just clip through there. I don't know how that works and all that, but there you go. I wonder if they're, oh yeah, I was wondering if they're, oops. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, if you hold down the mouse button, it's like, woo. Some games it's different, so I'm like, ah. Uh. Building is too big. Oh, okay, that's that's all you're going to get from that building. That's cool. That's a big enough building I like. So uh, can I still put a front entrance in there or are you just mad at me now? Oh, there you go. We got one in there. Cool. So you can have your little entrance in there too. We can even go ahead and bring a path into that area. Just right outside it. There you go. That's pretty cool. So it's a building we can explore for the quest. And then what we can do is we can also add like a, an elite version NPC. So there's elite ones here. So we can go ahead and bring like an elite over here somewhere. And uh, you can have him here. And uh, I don't think you'd want like multiple. I guess you could have multiples, you know, here and there. But uh, let's go ahead and do scenery here. And then maybe we can mark this off a bit like something special here. There's a lot of things you can do for the scenery here. There's some ruins and stuff like that you can add. Some old ruins here and there. Uh, do, 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 do. There you go. Uh, let's go ahead and add some, there you go, some rocks in here. So you can put some different rocks in the, the thing. There you go. This one looks kind of cool. We'll have him near our big one here. Just maybe how he is over here, maybe to somewhat indicate where he is. Oh, wow, he roams a while. Actually, you know what? Let's put him, like, right here. And then let's use these guys somewhat. Yeah, let's just kind of indicate where he is maybe a bit. <laughs> <laughs> just for fun, you know. But uh yeah, and then you can just put some other rocks here and there. Just for decoration, you can go ahead and go back to some of the scenery here. So you can put a big tree in here if you want. Um I don't like the bigger ones. I mean, I guess certain themed ones they they'd be good, but I I think I'd rather keep them a bit smaller. They're not really spooky enough. There's probably dead looking ones here. Oh yeah, like that's kind of spooky. Maybe we'll save that for something else. Well, that's maybe more appropriate actually to the area. Yeah, that, that seems actually a bit more appropriate to the area to be fair. Maybe we'll get rid of those other ones then. There you go. You have to hold it down or something? I don't know how this delete works. Apparently the delete ain't working on this one. How do you? Wouldn't it just be clicking delete? And yeah, I think it's supposed to, but it's not wanting to play. So maybe we can click and delete it. Oh, there we go. That works just as well. There we go. I like that because it kind of makes it a little bit more. Yeah, cool. <laughs> not not the best looking thing ever, but it's it's fun, right? That's the idea. We'll, we'll put these more back here. There you go. Maybe this one too back here a bit more. Okay. So let's get rid of the one quest giver because he was never meant to be. Oh, I guess I got to hit that delete. There you go. And let's start with the quest here. So this one's going to be obviously different. So we're going to have this guy basically deal with skeletons. You're going to kill skeletons. Okay. So this one here, your job is to uh, kill the big skeleton. Cool. Okay. And then our last one here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and you're going to visit this guy here. There you go. So basically you get uh, a bunch of quests in that one, which is pretty cool. And then we can even do a shop over here, you know, maybe even for convenience, you charge up a bit, you know? Um, so we can do the building here again. Uh, so let's see here. So basically you could do like a shop so they can sell their stuff here. Um, I feel like if they're going to sell their stuff, you should be charging for that. Cause that's just their gold and stuff, but we could put a little shop in here somewhere. Let's put it down here a bit more. There you go. And then let's do like a potion shop potentially over here. Uh, where's the potion shop here? Oh, there's the guards going out kicking ass. 
Um, because potions are important, right? So, yeah, let's do that. And we're going to put a potion shot maybe right here, potentially. There you go. I think that one I'm going to charge real money for because I'm a jerk. So we could do services here. Yeah, so sink prices. We turn that off or we'll make them all that way. And we'll we'll make it like two real dollars to use that. And then uh, this one. This one shouldn't be anything because this is them selling it. So obviously uh buying like i don't know if that would actually give them two real money that'd be crazy make it one of those games where you give them real money for everything that that'd actually be kind of cool um but uh, i think my friends that would get us started and yeah so let's go ahead and open up our park here so we're gonna hit upgrade so this is what i was telling you about other upgrades in the future every time you go up certain versions uh you, you'll get like upgrades up here and uh so i think like at 500 you'll get some points and then at like another one whatever you'll get another thing but basically it does go up so we have the starting point here which is literally letting your players come into the world uh you can do friends list party list flight pass world history badges pvp duel gibbs um instant messages guilds puzzle locations faction history challenges pvp arena killing uh tech four four five myth and legends and leaderboards so that's really cool uh, so let's go ahead and do the release now. So basically we're up and running uh, and then we just have to uh, have our gate. So this is basically your, your intro gate here. This is how they're going to basically appear in the world. And let's just make sure that is networked because that would be embarrassing if it wasn't networked. Yeah, it's all networked. So I think we should be good. And there you have it. So I guess that'll go away once it's activated or whatever. It's like sparkly as hell. <laughs> There we go. I might change the uh, sky a bit. I like how they they do an intro for you know them, but on top of that, like it's you know using your world. Oh, I didn't know there was a bucket in that tree. That was cool. There you go. <laughs> Some of those trees are leaning a little too much. <laughs> Oops. Stone Legion, here we go. And there's our first player, the first. That is so cool. So there we go. Maybe we'll mark them. You can favorite them so you can see them around and check them later on. So there they go. They're going to the quest NPC here. So I guess the quest should have... Yeah, so there you go. Convenience is really nice. Um, beauty is... They don't have a high beauty on there. Danger is obviously low. So if they're not into danger... Or if they're into danger, I guess that might be a bit of a, a buzz kill for them, but they'll have to live with it. And there you go. So there we go. We have eight users online and eight subscribers. So keep in mind, every time they're buying the game, they're, you know, like first users, that's that's 40, 40 bucks. So if we get one more here, there you go. We've made $400 plus the 10 subscription. Now, I don't know how it works here. I guess we can look here. Uh, went 40 to 80. Okay, so it does look like you get the first month free potentially. Yeah, okay, so I, from what I can see, you get the first month free, like usually when you buy an MMO. So, you, you know, you pay $40 and then you pay the $10 subscription probably after the first month, I'm guessing. Um, and that's really cool. Now, one thing I wanted to do, let's pause this before we let them do too much here. I saw some stuff here and I wanted to adjust this because I, I, I'm not happy with the way the game is set up right now i think i'd rather have people wait longer so this is like your base level so if you kill here uh basically you can set like how much you need to kill things like that so um i think that'd be kind of important um so let's see how we can do this so basically from level one uh you need to kill eight things but if we go here and say i want to set it to 32 you would need to kill things 32 times, which gives them more grind, which means they level slower, but hopefully they keep more entertained and want to play the game more. That's kind of what I was hoping for. And that's that's what I was thinking about. And then this is the base, you know, monster EXP. We'll leave that alone because I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, extra EXP per level. So you can see that uh, I think it's based on... Uh, what is it based on? Yeah, because you can see they jump. They need double. I guess double for each one. 
Yeah. So you need 32, 64, 96, things like that. Um, which I think that's kind of cool, actually. So we'll go ahead and leave that. And then uh, for quests, we need quest rewards. Here we go. So from one to two, you need, you know, uh, 10 and then 30. So you, you get the idea, right? So I was thinking of setting this more to 20 ish and then more like 60 ish. There you go. And oh, sorry. Oh, how many quests to gain a level? How many quests to gain a level? Oh, hunt quest, fetch quest. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do the same thing here. 20. And then, yeah, I'm kind of confused why that one's a lot more. Let's set that to 40 then. And let's set this to 40. And let's set this to 10, potentially. Yeah, let's do that. Now, you can fine tune these, obviously, too. But I think this would be, I just think this would be a bit more enjoyable, as in it would make it last longer. Meaning they aren't, you know, just hitting level two right away. But if they get too bored, that could be also an issue, right? So hopefully we don't make them too bored. We can also add more of these areas. So we can add another one over here over time and basically go from there. But uh, there you go. So you can see the next uh, next feature is at 1.1. Zero, zero. And as far as I know, this is the weird part of this game. I don't know if that's the only thing, but the, basically the more you build your world, like make it look nicer and things like that, this goes up. I don't know if there's anything else that dictates that. I'm hoping there is, but it does seem like a big chunk of it is related to just adding more to the world itself. So um, if that is the case, you know, that is how it is. But uh, uh, even adding this will probably, you know, change some stuff around. So let's go and put one of these here for fun. And you, you, there you go. And if you do a little prop, I think it gives you 1.2. So I'm not quite sure how all that works, like I said. But um, let's put a guard in here, too. There you go. Put a warrior guard here. Did that uh, add another one? I don't think that one did, actually. So I don't think that has an effect on it. There you go. But it'll take a while for the players to get up here, and I should probably add some more fun things over here over time, maybe, uh, to, to, to make it a little bit more exciting. I could always just add a, a mini one over here, too, actually. Like, um, let's see here, uh, NPC. Um, maybe I'll do that for fun. Uh, let's just have, like, an evil spider that sits out here in the grass. He's on his own. You know, he's not, you know, that much of a nuisance, but he's just the annoying spider. And then we can add a quest NPC here. There you go. Double click. Yeah, I'm not sure what I do there. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, look at that. What the heck? I'm not sure what I did there. Okay. I kind of did it again, and I'm not I'm not sure why I do that. But anyway, so you got the quest here. So we're going to tell this guy to go over here. But then we're going to have him also suggest you go and kill this guy, which this guy will be a bit harder, obviously. But uh, it's like a, a starting, you know, Kill the little spider out in the, the thing, right? And uh, scenery. We can add some nicer things in here, potentially. Now let's add smaller versions of these. Obviously, we're doing two in here, so we can add some of these in here. If you want for fun, you can add some spiders in here too. Like regular monsters is not a bad thing. Obviously, um, you don't want them to like be overcrowding this area. But if you want to, we could add, you know, just some spiders here. And that way, there's just a bit more fun in here. We can add that as a... Well, I don't... I was going to say you could add it for a quest. I guess we can. But I don't know if the grinding becomes a problem. Like, I mean, if you get too many players... Will they get upset that they can't complete a quest because they can't get to it, right? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know how many uh, the guys will get over time, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. So we can always remove a quest potentially or, or expand this further out here maybe or something. But uh, there you go. You got your little spider, you know, set up there, which I think is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, let's add more of these guys in here. Oh, there's another version of these. Let's put these as number two as well. There you go. Just adds a little bit more scenery and just a bit more. Look at that. We got 30 players already. So we could speed this up quite a bit. I thought 
we wouldn't need to speed it up right away. Because I, I kind of would rather just, you know, add the meat and potatoes as we go. Uh, but obviously, because we just started, you know, it takes a little longer for us to go. Now, we're one day, six. Uh, it's 6.56, right? So as far as I know, looking at the speed of this, I'm assuming we started at one, month one, day one. So if that's the case, and maybe even hour one, or I don't know if it was zero, uh, possibly we've only played, say, seven hours in-game time. And so there's a streamer event coming. And it's going to happen on the second day at five. So that's a long time. That's going to be like a few episodes later. So we're going to probably in the future speed this up just because we're going to want more meat and potatoes, obviously. But uh, I'm going to leave it for a bit, though, and continue expanding and stuff like that. Just having fun. But uh, yeah, then we'll go into next time we'll go into and seeing what people like and what they want and um, if there's anything like that, I know there's some feedback like that. So we'll, we'll go into that. Oh yeah. These trees, we wanted to fix this cause this was uh, kind of ridiculous. There you go. Something like that. There you go. That's a little bit better. It was just funny looking. It's just the hills, a little hilly there. Very cool. Okay, my friends. So, yeah, we'll leave it there. And then uh, next time when we come back, I guess we'll see if they start getting into the combat. They're probably doing lots of stuff around here because they're slowly getting in the game, right? So they're they're learning the ropes. Maybe we'll decorate this up and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I've been enjoying this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Oh, look at the gang over here. It's awesome. And uh, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.